caught in the crossfire. I think it's time for Cringe Fest 3, so I hope that you guys um, enjoy this. This is Shani, high off of her ass, blaming it on COVID and dismissing her children. I have coronavirus. I get it. Yeah. Oh Lord, you give me that one thing, humility. Thank you for that. Humility. Thank you. You never let my ego get the best of me, sir. <laughs> oh, look at Shani just downing pill after pill like it's candy. Because that's a good, that makes a good mom. That's, that's a responsible parent right there. <laughs> what? Do I will stay outside that door? Do not come to your mommy. I do not want you to get this. Oh, perfect. Just another excuse for your child not to come anywhere near you. I guess you don't have to worry about that anymore now, do you, Shani? Hmm. That's okay, awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love you, baby. We love you. You're awesome. Do some more uh, drugs, Shani. You don't seem high enough, considering you can't even form a damn sentence. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. That's cool. He's so beautiful. Okay, these next couple videos are gonna are gonna give you the cringles. So <laughs> I'm just warning you now. It's cringy as fuck. Oh, hi! It's me, Petty B. Uh, I just want to say, I just can't believe. Someone could possibly cheat on me, being how pretty I am. I mean, look at this. I mean, just, just, just look at the perfection. I mean, how could you do that? You're stupid. What's wrong with you? I can't believe you could do that. Oh my God. Oh, I cannot tell you how much I cannot stand this fucking voice that she does. Oh my God. Like, look how pretty I am. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. And my look is inspired by the Japanese cherry blossom. I'm so pretty. How could you cheat on me? I'm so pretty. Coming off the camera. For real. <gasps> Where is the love, Shani? Where is the love? Where is the love? You must know that you must love people. Your love, why is your love so dissimulated, Shani? Why is your love so dissimulated? Oh, drug. Draggy, draggy, draggy. Oh, you showed in your video what I did on. Oh, someone's channel. Hurry up, little. What the fuck is that noise she's making? Is she a fucking squirrel? Is that her squirrel call? What the fuck is it? Fishes, figure it out what it is. I'm just waiting because really, this is really fun because I've been doing stuff. <laughs> I can say without a doubt that I have, I'm not tempted on serving the devil as a believer in Christ. And I really question a believer when they say out of their mouth that they're tempted on serving Satan. Looks like nobody understands the nonsense that's coming out of your illiterate, uneducated mouth. So stop. Just stop talking to hear your own voice. Your relationship ain't right. <laughs> Why are you going down the route of Judas? Why are you going down the route of Judas? <laughs> 
And why do you think it's your place to tell anybody what they should do with their own choices and their own religions? You don't, that's not your place and it's not your call. What people believe is what people believe. You can't make other people believe what you want them to because you do. People have to actually feel it and they don't feel it with your religion. So they do their own thing. That's their right as a human being. Well, babies, let me just tell you. I live in the best luxury apartments in the area. So go ahead, call me poor, call me a loser, say I'm lying all you want. Um, I think you're a liar. I wouldn't say you were a winner of anything. And um, I'm here from the future to tell you that you're gonna get evicted from this fabulous place you love so much and it couldn't happen to a nicer person. But I guarantee you don't have an apartment that looks as fabulous as mine. So enjoy. Be jealous. I will lay here in my pink fuzzy bed while you wallop in your pain and misery. Ha 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 I gotta give myself some credit. But I, I, I hurt myself really bad. You want to know why this is so disgusting? Because there are people that actually suffer from self-harm every day of their lives and try not to do it. And you're sitting here making a mockery of it. And yeah, it's pretty cringy because it looks like you got into a fight with a spoon, Shannon. It doesn't look like you did any damage. You didn't even break the skin. Do you not know what self-harm entails? Because obviously you think people are dumb enough to buy this shit. They're not. You didn't hurt yourself in any way. May I say I had a horrible 420. You know, my head is like really fucking horrible. My nasal, my throat, I'm sick to my stomach. I'm feeling like shit, right? I'm like, shit, I'm getting sick. So I go to the store to get some NyQuil. I lose my phone. And here I am dying in the store. I lose my phone. I'm sick. I, I I can't breathe. I'm ready to fucking throw up everywhere. I love that phone. I love my blade. My ZTA blade. I love that phone. And then... I don't know. I got to the point where I ended up puking and shitting myself today. So I did not have a good 420. I don't know if it was that copious amounts of weed, but I'm telling you, I'm never gonna smoke like that ever fucking again. The reason why I put my sons on camera is so they can go and speak their side of the story. Your children are not gonna say what's really going on. If this was really new in the beginning of your relationship with Jason, so he wasn't hitting them yet. God knows if you did or not, I'm sure you did, but your kids will say anything to make you happy. That's what kids do. Whether it's right or wrong, they're still going to support you. You're their mother. You made them do that. That's why. So when people hear what is being said, they can take it from my boy's side of view. Um, I don't know what a side of view is. I know what a point of view is, but again, English is hard for Shani. She's lived here her whole life. Not mine. You people are liars, you're nasty human beings, and I want nothing to do with any of your cr cruelty or your kind. Nothing ever again. Yeah, and I just want to say really quick, there's one person out there that... Oh, look at Billy Badass in his jacket and his slicked back hair. Somebody else made a comment about this because I used this video in something else and said he actually looked like a real person here, and I agree. I already got their name given to a friend I have that knows how to get your information. So you guys better stop this. I'm telling you. you Let's say you did know a person that could do something like that. Is it smart to go on the internet and say that you have a friend that would hurt somebody if they didn't stop? It sounds so don't, not a good you idea. You don't want to go down this road. You don't. She's a good mother. I'm with her every day, and I see the way she treats her boys. She is a good mother, so step off. 
Ew, that makes me sick. Yeah, step off, guys. Step right the fuck off. <laughs> Yo, so I don't know why, like, dumbass drag is going around and, like, saying I'm, like, I've had orgies before and shit. But, um, I hate to burst your bubble, but I've never had an orgy. Now, I will say <coughs> I've had threesomes before. But an orgy and a threesome are totally different things. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that a threesome is three people and an orgy is more. Thank you for educating me, Dr. Ruth. You know, a threesome is just three people while an orgy is like a whole group of people. <gasps> wow, is that why they call it a threesome? Oh my God. How did I? You're so smart. Going at it. There is quite a difference. And I think people need to know the difference. And, uh, you know, at least report accurate facts drag about my sex life, dude. I mean, say what you want, dude, but I've had threesomes, not fucking orgies. So retract your statement and correct that shit, dude. Why should he retract anything? You're the one who talks about the Pringle can guy and all your other sex capades. Gross. You know, I, I wouldn't be down on the orgy thing. Man, there's too much anal that goes around in orgies. No orgy. Nah, man, I'm not down with the anal shit. This is absolutely disgusting and I can't wait for it to be over because it's so cringy. So, so cringy. He is. But you're okay with, you're okay with me though. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, ew, so you're, but you're, but you're okay with me, right? You're okay with me doing it, right, Shani? My queen, my goddess. Nice hat and sunglasses, sir. What are you wearing? Sunglasses inside? I'm not shocked. Well, I'm just giving you, like, you know, experiences that you never have okay. otherwise. All right. So, anyway, no, no, I haven't had orgies. Retract your statement. And no one has to retract anything. The way that you behave is questionable as far as how true blue you are to Rev. So, it's very possible that you're just Correct. a you-know-what. Now, if I It made, is kind of hot seeing you say orgies. Now, if I... It, no, honestly, if I if I said anything about orgies, it, would, mm. it was probably a joke. Ooh. And a reference to Mario Brisson. Uh oh. <laughs> Mario. Yeah, these two are both on something. Rev singer, like, uh huh, yeah, Mario. And she's just. Uh, she can barely form a damn sentence. This is. <laughs> what a couple. I Because I gotta throw him some fucking shade. Because mm -hmm. of his douchebag ways and how he fucked me over at wake up call. Yeah, so, cool. anyway. So anyway, I'm just throwing Mario Grissom's shade about the orgy thing. Mm. But no, I've never had orgies. I'm not. Uh, I'm not Why into is it that. so hot when you say, quote unquote, I've never had orgies? Because you're horny. Again, can someone please tell me why he has on that hat and he's wearing sunglasses indoors with that ridiculous shirt on? Anyone? Anyone in the crowd? Anyone in the back? That's probably the case, man. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to continue to lie here in my bed mm -hmm. and smoke a bunch of pot sure. and eat all my fucking donuts and shit. You're looking good. Cause, it's like... Because, cause, you know what? <laughs> all the people who talk shit about my lifestyle, they're just jealous because they'd do the same fucking thing if they were me. That's right. <laughs> That's right, no, I can confidently say that I would not do the same things as you. I would not make any of the same choices you've made in life. Not even one. Not one. It's the truth, bitches. You know it. Jelly, 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 booger. And anyway. Whatever. Life is wonderful, and I'm lying here. I don't know how I got so lucky. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, Rev. You really lucked out with Shiny. I don't know how I got so lucky. Well, you lost $750,000, and now you're on the balls of your ass, so how lucky are you, dopey? Enjoy life, but no orgies. Sorry, gentlemen. The more, you I know, hate to burst your fantasies about me. Exactly. I'm I can promise you there's not a single man on this planet that's fantasizing about you, Shannon. Not not one. If there's anyone, please stand up now, but I highly doubt anybody will take saying you. Saying the more that you say that, you know, the more they're going to think about it. You understand that, right? Probably. Because it's sexy. When you say, I've never had an orgy, it's sexy. So they're Bullshit. I call bullshit. Nobody had a threesome with Shani ever, especially multiple times. Bullshit. You're gonna think more of you having an orgy. I've had a threesome. Right. Well, that's hot, but you I've know. Had several. You've had several. Yeah. Imagine telling the person you're with that you've had multiple threesomes and that person being okay with it. Like, why? 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 You should tell the story sometimes. Why would I sell the story? Why not? <sighs> this sex all it dude. Oh, she can't tell the story because it never actually happened. That's why she can't tell the story sometime, Rev, because it's imaginary. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I burst your bubble, gentlemen. I'm not that much of a whore. But you know what? I find it flattering you guys fantasizing about me. You're delusional. You are absolutely fucking delusional. If you think anyone is fantasizing about your fat ass, because nobody is, sweetheart. Shore it up. Mm. It's, it's hard not to. Peace. And Marina. that title you stupid son of a bitch I didn't watch it but I saw the title okay and you know what that is a lie we did not pay for G-Man to be on what is is I have my feminine rot wiles and I can go demand people to be on my channel if I just ask and they will come you know why I give them the views baby I get them the views. That's why you said what you said in line about us and said we paid it for him. The only reason you get views of any kind is because you and Rev are both train wrecks and it's hard to look away. Facts. That's why you lied. It's not true. 
It's not true. It's the same thing if I made a video talking about you, Drag, and I made a title that said, Drag, get in here, your ass would come in here. And you would be like, tell me. Ew, that was disgusting. That was a disgusting visual. And no, I don't think for one second Drag would be doing anything like that because he can't stand your ass. Anyway. So let's not get things twisted, sir. You damn well know it's a lie. You can't provide any evidence to anything you said. All you can do is clap back and make accusations and have simple-minded fucking moron sheeple people who can't think logically for themselves while demanding evidence from everyone else but relying on what you have to say blindly without any shred of evidence at all. Oh, I've seen Drag's videos about you, and he's pretty factual on what he has, and he does come with receipts, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Maybe it's all the drugs getting to your head, but nope, Drag's pretty spot on with you and how awful of a person you are. Congratulations. Please, please show me your hypocrisy some more, sir. I think I see it. I think I see it, but no, the title of your video is a lie. We did not pay for G-Man. He came in here on his own accord. I just had to put his name in the video and he knew. You know why? Because that's what we do. That's what we do. What do you do other than lay in bed? You don't do anything. You don't cook, you don't clean, you don't take care of your children, you lost them. And you sit on your fat ass in your house making stupid videos like this. Is this what you do, idiot? Damn it, and I, I will exert my queenly power if I want to. I don't have to pay any of you schmucks. How about that? I don't have to pay any of you schmucks. All right? So, you know what? This is just funny. If I was really paying for people to be on my channel, Drag, if I really was paying for people to shut up about me, I would be paying about you. But I if I really wanted people to shut up about me... Why are you talking like that? What is that accent? Like, your accent changes throughout time. First it was Southern, now what is this? Are you from... Uh, the Bronx all of a sudden? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I think what you keep doing is you keep alluding to me paying for G-Man and shit. When really what you're trying to say, Drag, is I'll stop trying to say things about you, Shannon, if you pay me. I'm sorry. I'm not going into your blackmail, Drag Nut. Your, your, your little drama is for children who are even, like, mature enough to handle adult topics. I hope, loveys, you realize how much I love you to sit through this wretched woman's videos. <laughs> but this is true classic Shani, just blab blabbering about absolutely nothing and making a complete jackass out of herself. She She's really good at that. You can't even talk about science, sir. You have to talk about some stupid fucking Christian like me. You stupid schmuck. You stupid fuck. You, you don't know who I am. You don't know what I can do. You don't know what I can do. So stop lying about people, Dragna. Stop lying about people. I didn't pay for freaking G-Man to do anything. And I'm not going to pay G-Man to do anything. Because you know what? I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. And folks, this is why we don't do drugs and then make videos. Because then you look like this stunad. Okay? Lesson learned. You guys learned a lesson today. That's, that's it. You're welcome. And, and you schmuck ain't getting shit from me. So keep making videos about me and pushing people to my channel. I'll keep telling them that you're a liar. I'll keep telling them that you're a donkey asshole. That's what I, that's what I say. And you smell like a stuffed pig. Oh, Shani, you're not going to talk about someone else's hygiene, are you? Because that would be a huge hypocr hip hypocrisy on your end, stinky girl. Stinky, stinky girl. 
That's what I tell people you see here. Now, you go on now, boy. I, I'm gonna be here, you know, you know, you know, sir. I'm gonna be here up in the north side while you down south like them redneck hicks. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing, boy. Get over yourself. You're not as smart as you think you are. Can you know what, motherfucker? I can entertain people a lot better than you. That's why you fucking have to use me. <laughs> oh no, we we use you for content because you are a, you are a locale. You didn't you didn't know that you get an award every year for it. You should know that you are a locale. That's why everyone talks about it. <laughs> so that was some cringy moments from our favorite couple. Um, it's not all of them. I can literally make cringe fests probably for the next two months and not run out of content. <laughs> um, if you guys like this kind of, um, like a cringe fest kind of video, let me know if you like them. If you like more serious ones, I actually have one that I'm working on and it's very, um, it's, there's a lot of racism in it. Um, that's going to be a much more serious type of video, but um, silly things like this where these two buffoons just act like idiots. It just is so cringy, but you can't look away, can you? <laughs> I know I can't, but anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a beautiful day and look out for my next video. It will be out soon. And I just wanted to thank everyone who's cash apped me um, for these videos. You guys are too kind. Make sure you're good before you go out giving donations to me because I want you to be okay. But I really do appreciate it very much. And um, my cash app is just a dollar sign with ballerina81. So um, that's my cash app if you want to send me anything because I'm probably going to get... Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to get um, copyright for this because that one part with the cherry blossom nonsense, that has a song that's, I'm pretty sure, not copyright safe. So, <laughs> if it moves you, I'm happy. But um, if you if you want to, to, to donate, I appreciate it. But please don't ever feel like you have to. I don't make these videos for that. I do it because I enjoy it. And I like to make people laugh. But I do appreciate the people that do cash at me. You guys are amazing. And thank you all for all your amazing support and the amazing things you say to me. I love all of you. Good or bad comments, I don't care. You're still all awesome in one way or the other. And I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye, lovies.
What happened when she had to obviously give it up that she wasn't pregnant? Does anyone know what came after this? Because I would love to know, like, how she got out of that life. Because I'm already seeing some, you know, some signs of her trying to get out of it. If anyone knows, please let me know so I know, too. <laughs> Thank you. Comment below.